Okay, so let's talk. So with me getting into buying Marvel Cinematic Universe figures, this is fucking cool. There is no doubt in my mind that one of the best ones that stood out from all of these sets is the Iron Man fig. Mainly because it was a really nice set of prints on the legs and the torso, but what really made it for a lot of people was that helmet mold being able to open very similar to how you see in the films, being a lovely molded piece. But with the most recent figure of Iron Man being the one with the new Marvel mech as well as in a few sets based on the one from the Avengers game, it's obviously understandable that they got rid of the MCU Marvel Iron Man 2 molded piece, as even though it might be inspiration from the MCU, it's not technically the same character, and his suit does look very accurate to the minifig. One thing that confuses me however is when they then decide to use it for an endgame set, being 76144, really a set based on events from the MCU. And yes, you could technically argue that they used it for an Iron Man 1 set with Iron Man Mark 1 armor, but in that case it makes more sense to use that headpiece as it does look more accurate as that one molded piece. But then notice how in the same set it comes with the Mark 5 and the Bones armor which both use that two molded helmet piece. But then it doesn't make sense that the extension then comes with two more suits of armor, being the Mark 2 and some other armor that was unnamed, which by the way is the same one that comes in the mech just with a backpack attachment, and then both using this new molded head piece which doesn't fit in with your other Iron Man minifigs, when the clearly established forefront was them using the two molded headpiece. And this is what really annoys me about LEGO's continuity, and you do see this with other themes, but it's weird to see them going with one consistent piece for so long and then make an arguably worse piece and treat that as its new standard. Now obviously I think I know why they made this decision, I think it's mainly due to the printing as well as the cost of the piece to make, considering you are seeing this helmet piece pop up in a lot more sets now when previously you didn't see it as much. It seems to be the same helmet piece just with different prints. And obviously the main thing I think it is, is obviously it's easier to make a print and print that on an existing helmet than it is to completely make a new helmet, make a mold, and then have that mold created. For characters like Rescue, which is obviously one of these examples where they use the new headpiece, they would have to create an entirely new faceplate mold that would work well with that back helmet piece just for this one figure in what would be at the time a relatively cheap set. I also think it would have been hard to create a mold which actually looks sleek enough as it is nano armor which is arguably a way more sleek design than the more bulky Iron Man suits we've seen in the past. But you may ask, why am I bringing this up? Basically, I'm bringing all this up because we know that LEGO are currently going back and fixing some of these minifigures and sets from the Infinity Saga. As what sets they are, we don't fully know just yet, but one of them we do know is an Ironmonger set. And obviously, we know that this is probably, in my mind, most likely going to be one of those £30 Hulkbuster type sets that we've seen before. Just instead of it being a Hulkbuster, it's going to be an Ironmonger suit and it'll probably be with like the Mark III and maybe someone like Pepper Potts just don't give us fucking aim agents please and it would be a good opportunity to give us Jeff Bridges as a minifig because it would give us that face print so I can finally make the Jeff Bridges from Tron as you clearly forgot that he existed when you released that set. But obviously my main question for this type of set is are they going to be doing those flathead Iron Man helmets or are they going to bring back those two part molds? Obviously a lot of people complained about those two part molds breaking at the hinge and becoming weak over time. It makes me think that they might just go with the flathead Iron Man helmet and try and print a Mark III on there. I'd really like them to go back to using that two molded piece as I would love to put it with all of my other Iron Man suits. And obviously they've done the Mark II, which is technically the same as the Mark III, as one of these flathead Iron Man helmets. And it really annoys me, because if they do it like that, I'm going to have to buy another Iron Man helmet off of Bricklink just to put on that fig so I can make it consistent with my other Iron Man army that I've currently got going on at the moment. And because I own two of the extensions, I actually did this with my War Machine figure, removing my helmet from one of my War Machine figures that I have, one of my classic ones with the dark grey headpiece, and putting it on that Mark II figure, just so I can get consistency in my Iron Man display in my Hall of Armor. And that's the thing that annoys me, is that LEGO released a Hall of Armor set purposefully so you could put Iron Mans next to each other when they've released them. With Rescue, it makes more sense because it's separately a new generation of Iron Man suit. If you really wanted to, you could wing that as something like, oh yeah, it's just a more streamlined looking suit, therefore it doesn't have that 
opening helmet. And arguably they don't open faceplates of the nanotech armor, they just remove the entire helmet. Because it's nano armor and you can do that, and why have to open a face shield when you can just take off the entire thing? As long as you made the Mark 85. Also, have that same helmet piece, so it's like more streamlined and consistent like the Pepper Pot suit, then it's fine. But obviously if you're going back and you're doing films like Iron Man 1, you can't then do the flat helmet look, and you can't say it's consistent with things like the Mark V armor, the Bones armor, the Mark 42, the Mark 47. There are so many Iron Man suits these days that have those double face molded helmets. So basically what am I saying in this video? I'm saying I'm worried for the new Endgame and Infinity Saga sets because I'm really hoping, in terms of that Iron Man fig at least, they go back to using what they did use because it was arguably a way better piece than this new piece that we have at the moment. And granted, if they do use this helmet piece, I'm not going to be massively disappointed. It's probably going to be a really, really nice looking print. And obviously, I've made the argument that you could argue that that's the way that the helmet looks when they're more streamlined, which is completely understandable. And I'd accept that if they used that as the excuse for these later on suits. But as for the Mark II and things like that, I don't think this is acceptable and they should go back to using the older. But even if we do get an Iron Monger set and that set does include a Mark III armor and they decide to give it that one piece helmet, I don't think it will take much to make that a double molded headpiece. You literally will just have to buy another one from Bricklink. But at the same time, it's the principle of having an official minifigure back again with those old parts, which I think fans would really like to go next to a lot of their older Iron Man figs that they would have collected by this point for a very long time. It's weird to see LEGO's consistency changing up like this, especially with sets that have been going on for many, many years now that are technically part of the same line. And I say technically because obviously it could be argued that this is not the Mark II armor, as it's called the prototype armor, but I think anybody can argue that it does look almost one-to-one -one like the Mark II armor. So anybody using that excuse in the comment section you can tell them that that's just not going to work. As in my mind, I look at this set and I go, yes, this is an MCU style set. And I also think I could make a whole other video just talking about Lego's consistency problem. You see this again with the Harry Potter sets recently. They've added the crest to the jumpers, annoying a lot of people that have collected a lot of jumpers over this time who now kind of see those as old prints. My advice to LEGO on this one is to pick a style and stick with it. I don't mind you updating prints, because I think that's a part of LEGO's infrastructure and making figures better over time and things like that, but obviously consistency is a big thing, especially when it comes to the same franchise. If it's the same year and the same franchise, don't make two different styled helmet pieces because fans are just going to get annoyed at how inconsistent their figures now look. But that's been this little rant about the Iron Man helmets and how I don't think they should change. Please let me know what you guys think of the helmet pieces in the comments below. Do you like the new one more than the old one? Let me know your reasons why. And if you enjoyed this Marvel session, please let me know in the comments below. I want to start incorporating Marvel sets into my routine because I do genuinely really like some of their sets. Am I going to make it a massively consistent thing on the channel? Probably not, but it might come up from time to time, especially with these new sets coming out later on in the year. And I would also like to talk about a few mocks that I and some other creators have made. Once again, I just want to say thank you to all of the members that help make these videos possible. Once again, you really do help fund these videos. Please make sure you like or dislike this video. I want to know the engagement of whether I should be talking more Marvel or less Marvel. So let me know. Of course, hit that subscribe button and I will speak to you guys in the next video. Goodbye.